he found out it he found out about it with us so when we was there eating popcorn like oh she slept with him she slept with him she slept with him partisan fontaine was saying the same thing so look meg meg you wanted to use partisan fontaine for some clout on cobra so he said i'm gonna use you for clout and this song is called the person and this song partisan fontaine told it all oh, and your Meg, partisan Fontaine is on your ma. All right, sleep with the. No, I ain't sleep with. The Look, we found out that was a lie. You ladies, listen, just keep it a bean with your ladies. Ladies, look, if the with you enough, just be honest with. Because honestly, what I think happened was partisan lost respect for her. All right, now we're gonna get into this, but I think what part and look, even in the track, partisan said, Yo, I still love you. Yo, the said you could even call my moms. Listen, partisan Fontaine sound like a good, he sound like he was a good, and Meg, it sound like you was wilding. All right, I'm gonna just keep it a beanington. So, party said, I thought you was on an island hilling. I guess your new album need a villain. Y'all, listen. The way that this man constructed this song, listen, he said Meg got lipo and started posting gym pics like the Herbalife coaches. You know when they get a BBL and then they post pictures of them holding the ball, taking squats and shit. Oh, shit. Yo, who was doing the tags on Meg's beats? Partisan said that whoever was doing the tags on the beats, Meg let him tag it and beat. Oh, shit. Yo, Meg. You was doing all that out here? Ladies, listen, ladies, I can't be doing that. What you what you expect me to do after after all that? Uh, in the court, yo, partisan Fonte said he was holding Meg like it's okay. Um he was giving her foot massages, yo. He was giving her foot massages, like yo, it's okay. And in the middle of the foot massage, while he was getting right between her big toe, he 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 was listening to the court case in the middle of the massage. What you want? Yo, listen, I, I think this heart was broken. And after, look, now he's with Jada Kingdom, y'all. Like, yo, he, did, yo, he he handled this very well. Let's let's keep it a bean. Dang. <laughs> Meg, you flew out the country on this, huh? Meg, you flew out the country on partisan? You parted ways? Look, Meg, Meg, Meg told him, look, I need to do some hot girl healing. And then she pulled up on an island, and maybe she was wilding. Look, who knows? But it sounds like Meg had a had a track record of some dishonest behavior. Partisan said that Meg was tech, and you know, look, it's like me is in the industry or that could probably do something for you. I think partisan man, it's yo politicking in the industry. I think like women in the industry. I think yo like relationships. For a lot of women in the industry is hard, you know, and like that's what I kind of want to build on with this in the latter end. But like with with Megan Thee Stallion and Kiki Palmer, how women navigate in relationships and um in the industry, I think that's something that we have to pay a lot of attention to. I wanted me and you to work more than anything. You can still hit my mama for anything. I still bring you close to the cleaners to get it clean. <laughs> Yo, look, party low key still sound like he'll do anything for her. And what I'm saying is, that sounds like that's true love. And it sounds like a lot of that hot girl, that hot girl business was just getting in the way of their natural relationship. Now, Meg, you used him for clout, right? And you said that he was getting his beef whacked in your bed and you were sleeping in bodily fluids and all of that. Well, I'm paraphrasing, right? That's what um allegedly on this song was I heard. And then um Partisan... Yo, he came back and he explained his side. And I'm going to be honest, like, yo, it, it really just sounds like he lost respect for you. You feel what I'm saying? And honestly, like, based on what I'm hearing, it sounds like it was a lot of lies and a lot of deception. And yo, man or woman, I, I don't think anybody deserves that. Partisan said that, Meg, hi, a private. And like, yo, look, <laughs> yo, Meg, you was going on with a lie, shorty. Dang. Hot girl was out here. But listen, I'm going to keep it a bean. It sounds like us outside of entertainment and outside of 
of um the industry, it's like a lot of the hot girl, city girl stuff. I think that there's an aspect of that that was mainly theatrics. And I feel like, yeah, when it comes to relationships, a lot of that stuff kind of doesn't work. And when we add in the, the mental health aspect and just how I, I look at how women navigate in, in the industry, I feel like that aspect of, of mental health is something that because we, we talk a lot of times about black men in the industry and like their and mental health now for them. But I feel like for black women in the industry, I, I feel like like and, and yo, this song right here is some deep stuff. You know, I feel like a lot of women in the industry kind of are going through a lot of things that young women are listening to y'all. And it seems like a lot of y'all are going through a lot of stuff behind the scenes. And like when it comes to navigating in the industry, the things that some of y'all is doing to maybe get placements, get beats, get gigs, get roles. It's like, I think that it's not what it looks. You know what I'm saying? I think a lot of y'all end up doing a disservice to your fans because it's like y'all living in, in an illusion and it's like y'all lying to them. And then based off what I'm hearing, a, a lot of y'all not even really happy. Feel me? Like I, I heard Kiki Palmer mom wilding. <laughs> Kiki Palmer mama was wilding on something. And yo, Kiki Palmer, like I always see her smiling, but it's like, yo, are y'all happy women? Are y'all happy ladies?